gonna bring this meeting of the Coochin County Board of Commissioners to order. Uh, first item on the first item is to approve the agenda. We do have one addition, and that's to authorize uh, repairs to the transfer station guardrail out there. Um, ask for a motion to approve. Move. Move with the addition. Motion by Commissioner Scoy. Second by Commissioner Schobel. Uh Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Uh, approved minutes, uh, February 26th. So no, no mistakes or no glaring errors, I'll move to approve. Motion by Commissioner Scoy. Second. Second by Commissioner Schobel. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Financial business. Claims and nine week claims. Any discussion? No, I'll second that. Though. I'll second that. Though. Oh, I thought you did. Okay, no, I'm no, sorry. No. I'll second that. Though. Okay, I've got a second by Commissioner Scoy. Um, discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Thank you. Uh, adopt resolution accepting the DARE. Donations. Mm -hmm. that's that's a, uh, that was just a list of, of donations that we have to make a motion for. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I've got a motion by Commissioner Squire. Second. Second by Commissioner Schobel. Discussion. Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Adopt resolution uh, accepting general revenue. General revenue donation. Same again, I'll move. Got a motion by Commissioner Scoy. Second by Commissioner Schobel. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Approved 2019 liquor and tobacco license request. Second. Second by Commissioner Scoy. Uh, discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion's carried. Uh, Betsy? Yes. Authorized carpool to seek bids for replacement of two vehicles. Yes. We had it in the budget to, um, and it was approved in the budget for us to get two vehicles this year. We have a couple of them that are over 100,000 miles and causing a lot of issues. One of them we don't even use outside of town because it's not safe for us anymore. So um, we're looking to get the approval to seek bids to replace the two vehicles. Okay, the uh, two vehicles being replaced, are those law enforcement vehicles or are they, are they for? Carpool. For the car yes. Okay. Where are these vehicles going to be traded in? Or, you know? There will be two vehicles that will be traded in, yes. And we'll probably get, and we'll usually get somewhere between 1500 and 2000 for them. The two, we what would be there? trading the two older ones in, <clears throat> and then um, looking to replace them with new ones. What was the other building? Oh, boy. I believe it's on the thing, yeah. isn't it? Is it on the RBA? I thought I had a copy. Thank you. Um, a 2010 Chevy Impala, and at the end of December of 18, that vehicle had 112,283 miles. And then the 2011 Ford Taurus 
that at the end of 18 had 105,368 miles. Any other questions? And they're just going out to seek bids now for. Yeah. Yes. Because the, the state bids open up like middle of March. Yeah. So we, we didn't, we missed it last year. So we didn't want to, we wanted to make sure we got our RBA in now so we could start looking. Lord, um, got a motion by Commissioner Shogo, second by Commissioner Scoy to go and seek bids for two vehicles for the carpool. So, thank you very much. Uh, discussion. Well, well, the only one I was going to say is that for being 10 years old, they don't have a lot of miles on them. I mean, 104,000 in 10 years. Uh, I mean, I mean it's, so I mean, I'm just you know questioning on, on, on the needs of them and stuff. A lot of these miles too are you know short to shorter trips. So like if if they need to get um, move somebody out of a home quickly, so it might be just to North Home. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, but what ha what's happening with these is they're starting things are starting to go on them. And like we just had a windshield that got broke on one of them and they wanted to replace the windshield, it was like $500. I said, if we can get that repaired or find a used one, mm -hmm. then we can get it a lot cheaper. MCIT will pay for it then if you put in a used yeah. windshield, right? So that's what we did, we put in a used one. Now this other one is needing um, tires very quickly also, so that's another, I think we get tires usually for eight or $900 on it. But it, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of miles, but sometimes they're, they're not all city drive, I mean all highway driving. It's a lot of shorter trips with them also. Yep. So which, which really affects maybe how many miles there is on there. But they're, they're not in good shape anymore. They're not dependable. We can't take them out of town when we go to Minneapolis or whatever for meetings or Bemidji for meetings and so on and so forth. And sometimes you have to transport families to another area. You don't just transport them up to I Falls oftentimes. Oftentimes it's go we're going to Minneapolis or we're going to Bemidji or Duluth or something yeah. with them too. Okay. Okay. Um, um yep. Yep. Okay. We, uh, show okay, any further discussion? Hearing none all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Motion's carried. Thanks, Bud. Thank you. Uh, consider amendment to Granite Digital Realty LLC Development Agreement. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am well, thank you. All right. Uh, now you uh, probably do not know everybody at the board. I did meet Jason this morning. Okay, you did? Yes. Okay. And you met him? Yep. I am Ken Smith. All right. Fantastic. All right. I'll let you have the floor. Thank you. Um, so you might recall February 2017 when we negotiated our development agreement, I indicated that we would need approximately two years of pre-development work before we were ready to uh, take the Army Reserve and turn it into a data center. Um, we executed the development agreement and then council discovered that the county cannot simply sell property to a private developer it has to go to public bid. Um, that bid <coughs> happened in uh, August, a mere six months later, um, and only then could we begin working on our task list that we had laid out. So what we're trying to do today, despite the fact that we tried to compress two years worth of work into 18 months, we're, we're not quite ready yet. We're still a little bit short. Um, we are ready to go. We've reduced costs significantly. We simply need to raise a little bit more money. Um, we've exhausted all local, likely local sources of investors. We we're hoping that the initial round would be funded exclusively locally. Um, but Paul and I finally, about the first of the year, said, you know, we need to look outside <coughs> local. We've done well. Um, we've put well over six figures into the project. We have uh, commitments for significantly more from some local investors. 
um, but we do need to go out in the region and get a little bit more money so that we can begin the development process. So we're just simply trying to claw back that six months that we lost that none of us anticipated because we didn't know that state statute wouldn't allow us to do what we planned to do. So if you'll adopt that resolution this morning, we'll keep working and we'll come back in six months, buy the property, and bring the data center into your town. Okay. Um, we, uh, we need to have uh, Aaron or Joe part of this discussion. Um, with your, with your army no, we don't because um, we're setting it for six months and we know that it's going to be tied up and they're aware of that. Okay. For the next six months, but there's a, sort of the, the, the it has to close by August. You have to actually have to close on the purchase. Yes, we, we amended the agreement, but we want to close now in August, end of August, I think. August 30th. So there yep. actually has to be a closing date set by then, no later than that date. Right. Okay. Yeah. And they were um, by. I mean, that's what the uh, uh, county attorney had uh, worked with them. Um, hit their attorney and, okay. and they thought that that was um, doable. So, okay. We should look for a motion. Yep. Move. Got a motion by Commissioner Stoy. So extended for the end of August. Got a second. Also have. Got a second by Jason. Um, any further discussion? I want to just thank you for all your work and mm -hmm. all your efforts and stuff. And I know it's been process. So. Keep moving along, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for partnering with us. Yep. We can turn this thing around and, and uh, put some jobs on that property. Everybody wins, right? Yep, exactly. We appreciate so, your support. No. Okay. All right. I've got a motion and a second. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Joe. Have you a know, great I've day. I've got a couple copies. All right. We'll uh, bring this meeting uh, back to order. Uh, environmental service business. First item is to approve the aquatic invasive species watercraft inspection staffing agreement. Yeah, so the county receives AIS funding uh, from the state to implement AIS, AIS management and prevention. We use some of these funds to operate an inspection and decontamination program at both launches throughout the county. Always There Staffing has provided inspectors in the past as, and has provided the inspection services as needed. This agreement would expire December 31st, 2019 and it has been reviewed by the county attorney. Uh, uh, inspectors are, are, will be located at boat launches as needed and uh, I think this year we're planning on having the uh, uh, decontamination unit uh, move from uh, boat landing to boat landing to you know, give different opportunities uh, and what's happening. But, yeah, this morning I did read that it was reported Red Lake uh, has uh, zebra mussel larvae. Uh, so that was a new development uh, that I just heard this morning. And so, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, people from this area go to Red Lake. Um, so, you know, to try to prevent the spread of those uh, aquatic invasive species uh, programs. So I would I would recommend that uh, we enter into the agreement to provide these uh, inspectors that are going on. I, I heard that uh, they found some spots in a couple of marinas up there. And, uh, but I don't think the state got on to it, but I don't know what happened. But, uh, um, but like I said, it's, uh, once you find them, I mean, they're going to you need a motion on that? No. Uh, yes, just for me to uh, go ahead and uh, sign the agreement and move forward with the inspection. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, I've got a motion by Commissioner Scoy. Second. Second by Commissioner Schulman. Any further discussion? Hearing that all in favor? Okay. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Thank you. And the uh, second item which we added this morning, uh, some work that needs to be done at the transfer station. Right, uh, so we solicited an estimate from Pell and Swenson uh, for necessary repairs to a safety rail bumper at the transfer station that helps prevent motorists and haulers 
from backing into the uh, MSW pit area. Uh, the steel rail bumper was installed as part of the original construction of the transfer station over 20 years ago. Over this winter, the condition has become worse, therefore we believe repairs to the rail bumper need to be completed as soon as possible. In order to limit disruption of service the transfer, at the transfer station, the proposal from Helen Swenson includes repair of the rail bumper for one bay. Uh, total estimated amount is $6,462, and that's for the one side. Uh, we will look at a proposal for making the necessary repairs to the rail bumper on the other bay once this work is complete. Uh, but uh, because of the age and, and the use over the years, it's starting to wear out and, and it's becoming a safety issue. So uh, you know, we certainly don't want to have that as a problem out there. And, uh, so one of the things, it, it's a kind of an interesting project. They're going to be uh, taking out a section of concrete slab, getting tied into the, uh, uh, you know, the, the structure below, and then they'll report that portion of the concrete slab. So uh, we'll get a good view of what that looks like too. So, yeah, but uh, it's an important project, and uh, I would recommend that we get that taken care of. Years ago, man, I was actually one of the first times I ever worked on it. Out of the workforce, I uh, was putting the sand around that wall. Oh, really? So, that was one of the first, the first people I worked with was uh, Kurt White. He was going to see how I worked out, whether I got the job or not. So, I worked with him for, worked with him for a couple of weeks. And, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's been there quite a while. Sure. sure. Yeah, right, right, right. 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 Sure about it. Need a motion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All motion. Okay. All second. Okay, I've got a motion by Commissioner Shobo, second by Commissioner Scoy. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion's carried. Say that on the, the decontamination deal, I suppose that's that early season, it's kind of hard to do that until water freezing or. Yeah, so there was discussion about uh, doing it out on the, uh, the Rainy River, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's a huge congestion. It's very congested during that period of time. Yeah, that's it. It creates a lot of issues. So we have problems with parking and traffic out there when they're out there. Uh, the other part of it is the risk is very low because the temperatures, the boats have been sitting all winter. This is really the only place that they entered uh, a water body. Uh, you know, since last fall, and so uh, the risk, you know, based on our discussions with the DNR, they, they felt like the risk was very low. It's probably not necessary for this part. Probably a higher risk going out with the water fleet. Yeah, if they're going to enter another body of water, I'm sure there'll be an inspection at that point, <coughs> and, and if there was any issues, they would have to make sure they got it. But, but, like, but like yeah. I said, it's almost impossible to get the traffic out there. I mean, we've done it in the past. We've done inspections, uh, I think, last year, but uh, it's very difficult, and uh, uh, there's not enough room to deal with that decontamination, even with all the parking issues that we got to people coming in and out. Uh, and, and the DNR felt like the risk is very low because of the temperatures and because of the time of year. They, they haven't been any other water, no, no. And so uh, they felt that that risk was low. All right, all right. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot, guys. And it's now time for public comment. Anyone here for public comment? I was glad to see that you approved the extension to the Granite Data Center because I'm slowly getting this feeling of dread that that project is going to go on and on and die a slow, painful death, just like the gasification project did. And I think by giving in this extension, you support them and give us hope that this really will come to fruition. So thank you. All right. Welcome. Thank you for, for your comment. Anyone else for public comment? Mark, do you have? Yes, if you don't mind, um, <clears throat> I just thought I'd take this. I hadn't planned to speak, but I just thought I'd take this opportunity just so you're uh, aware that we're going to close the uh, office for walk-ins and appointments from the 19th to the 21st while uh, Chris McLean and myself go to training down in Walker. It's a mandatory thing for the, you know, one, for me to gain my certification, and two, for uh, Carissa to maintain hers. And uh, so in that, during that time, however, uh, Shauna will be in the office taking calls and, and 
you know, answering general questions and things you could do and also, you know, taking messages or whatever that need to be passed on to us. Okay. So just, just an information thing. So we have the local offices posted with signs telling folks that uh, we're also taking out a short ad in the Daily Journal to, you know, make okay. it public that we'll be closed during that, those two, three days. Well, yeah, three days. Okay. So, all right. That's it. Let's say you have questions of me. That's all I wanted to let you know. No, I think that's okay. no, it's good. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. And uh, there's no more public comment. Uh, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Oh, oh. Second. Um, motion by Commissioner Shogun, second by Commissioner Scoy. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.